Hey, what's up guys, it's Altec here. In this video, I've got 15 smartphone tips, tricks, and hacks for you. Okay, when someone borrows your phone from you, you might be worrying that your personal data might be exposed to that person, or that person might be intruding into your personal data like the social media. But you need not worry anymore, because screen pinning is here to save us. So in order to enable it, just go to settings, and under the security settings tab, you can find the screen pinning option under different names depending upon your phone's manufacturer. And now just by enabling this option, you can just pin your screen to a single app so that the person can't navigate to any other app. So in order to enable it, just go to the recent app screen and select the desired app and click pin this app so that the person can't navigate out of the app. So in order to navigate out of the app, if you are using a three button navigation, you can press the back button and the recent button at the same time and enter your pin. Or else if you are using a two button navigation like the Pixel Android 9, you can press back button and home button. And if you are using Android 10 gestural navigation, you can just swipe up and hold on the screen and enter your pattern to unlock the phone. When it comes to in-display fingerprint sensors on smartphones, especially optical fingerprint sensors, the speed of scanning is very slow when compared to ultrasonic fingerprint sensors. But don't worry, you can increase the speed of scanning of your optical fingerprint sensor just by registering your same finger, identical finger, for multiple times. So this will give a good result and you can experience a faster unlocking of your phone when you're using an optical fingerprint sensor. Instead of typing letter by letter in your smartphone, you can just enable slide typing which is otherwise known as glide typing in the keyboard settings and just swipe across the letters to type so that the word which you have planned to type is automatically predicted by the keyboard using artificial intelligence and this will help you save your time a lot. Instead of using two fingers to zoom in or zoom out in Google Maps app, you can just use your single finger to zoom in or zoom out. Just double tap over the screen, hold the finger and swipe up to zoom out and swipe down to zoom in. So this is a hidden trick in the Google Maps app. We can use our smartphone camera to check whether the battery is alive or dead in a TV remote control or any other wireless remote control based on IR. So just point the remote control towards the camera of your smartphone and press any button to check whether it is working or not. If it is working, then you can see a small light probably in a red or a dark pink color blinking on the remote control. So this is the IR light which is not visible to human eyes but cameras can easily capture it. It is better to enable airplane mode while charging your smartphone which will increase the efficiency and speed of charging by blocking all the wireless signals sent and received by your smartphone so that you can experience a faster charging. If you don't know about something, instead of searching by text, you can search by image using the Google Lens. For that, you can just download the app available on the Google Play Store or else you can just activate it directly from the Google Assistant by pressing the lens icon present near the mic icon on the Google Assistant. So you can scan your desired thing to know more about it and you can also translate text, copy text and more by using Google Lens. If you can't press the shutter button on your large smartphone, then you can use the button in your earphone or headphone to take enormous number of selfies as you do press the button in your selfie stick. Restart your smartphone at least twice a week so that it is maintained at its optimum condition. Restarting often can also help you increase the speed and efficiency of your smartphone usage. Say for example, you're recording a video in outdoors with lots of ambient noise. In order to muffle up those ambient noise, just block the microphone with a finger so that the ambient noise is completely muffled up and you can record a noise-free video even in outdoors and even in noisy situations. Apply a completely dark or a black wallpaper to your smartphone to save the battery of your smartphone. 
Actually, this is not a proven technique, but this can somewhat help you to save the battery of your smartphone. When you don't have a ruler or a measuring tape in hand, you can use your smartphone to measure distances. But for this, the AR code should be built in on your smartphone and just download an AR-based measuring app from the Google Play Store such as the Google AR Measure to measure distances. This is not completely accurate, but this can help you under critical situations. When there is a power cut, you can use the flashlight of your smartphone as your emergency light. For that, place your smartphone upside down and have a bottle full of water or a cup full of water and place it over the flashlight of your smartphone to make it an emergency light. You can amplify the sounds from your phone speaker just by placing it inside an empty cup or an empty bowl so that the sound is amplified multiple times especially when you are using an alarm. This technique can help you a lot. If your device lacks a macro lens, you can convert the primary lens into a macro lens by placing a clean drop of water over the primary lens and make sure to place it over the primary lens as nowadays phones contain multiple lenses. And now the picture which is taken by the macro camera made by a drop of water is like this. So this is all about the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then do consider subscribing to the channel. I'll catch you guys in the next one.